Okay, uh, we're just looking in your uh, roof now and just have a little look at what you've got up here. You've got the ducted material which restricts your access um, quite a lot really, but you can still get it around enough. Um, it's pretty good, the timbers, um, the trusses are not too bad and pretty straight. You've got the insulation between the bottom of the trusses, but nothing on, no sarking to stop any permeation through the roof, which is a bit of a shame, but it's um, not needed in terms of getting your energy efficiency rating for your ceiling, but it's certainly a good thing to have, just before I said, just getting the water. So all your ducted here. Um, now, what I'm showing you this is you've got some black back blocking here. Now, this is the plasterboard that's out your, um, outside your patio area, and you've got a, quite a big expanse there. And you'll notice underneath, I've commented about it in the item exterior, there's discolorations where the joins are, and these are the joints here. That's the plasterboard sheets meet. There's one just here. It goes up like that, and then it goes over like that. So you've got um, quite an expansive thing here. Now, you have one, two, three, four, about five in total until you go to the end, and none of them have what's called back blocking. Back blocking is where you put a bit of plasterboard over the top there to solidify that join so that it doesn't crack. Now, you need any more than three joins in a ceiling board space. You should really have them for every one, but every more than three, you should put back blocking in where the join is to solidify it. So it's not being done there, but um, yeah, I'll elaborate further in the report on that. That might help you better understand.